Hello and welcome to Nord4u.com. First look, RF radiation of 4G data vs 3G data. In today's presentation, we will try to compare the RF levels emitted from a cell phone when surfing in the internet in 4G mode and when surfing in 3G mode. I tested the RF radiation emitted from an iPhone in two modes, 4G data mode and 3G data mode, both with the same supplier. The measurements were done in home condition and with home use RF meter, the Cornet ED78. The RF meter is located in the near field, so the measurements are not accurate, but we can still see a big difference between the two modes. 4G was unleashed in Israel a few weeks ago. This is the first time I managed to test 4G data and compare it to 3G data. During the measurements, I served to two Israeli websites. Please notice the max value and the overall levels in each measurement. Four G on. Surf in the net via 4G data. G mode was turned off, 3G mode is now on. Clearing the max value. Surfing the internet via 3G data mode. נחזיר חזרה ל-4G ונעשה את אותו דבר עוד פעם ואז לכבות Switching back to 4G data mode Surfing the internet via 4G data mode Levels are going up Cellular data is turned off. Please note that the background levels are back to nearly zero. As you probably noticed, in the first attempt of 4G data, the max level were around 170 milliwatt per square meter. When the 3G data mode was on, the max level were around 5 milliwatt per square meter. And the, in the second 4G attempt, the max level were around 22 milliwatt per square meter. From this preliminary test, it seems that the phone emits higher levels of radio frequency radiation when in 4G data mode than in 3G data mode. It doesn't mean that 3G is safer, it just means that 4G seems to be worse according to these preliminary tests. Thanks for watching and see you next time.